Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Those of you that watch Islamic videos will be very familiar with this personality. He goes by the name of Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq. And yes, a lot of his videos have been going viral. He's only joined YouTube six years ago. He's an Islamic preacher, also known as a Da'i, and he has accumulated 38 million views. He has definitely made a mark within the Islamic scene, discussing, dialoguing, debating with Christians in his famous stool, the little tent that he's got in the US. His arguments mashallah are robust, he speaks confidently, he knows what he's doing and talking about and mashallah many people have accepted Islam at his hands. And unfortunately and sadly, the last couple of days Sheikh Uthman was followed and the Sheikh was stabbed. The person clearly says and knows who he is and mentions his videos. And of course make some Islamophobic comments as well. My main question is this, where is the outrage when a specific Christian individual was stabbed, she is somebody that disrespects the Quran, the Prophet, is an open Islamophobe, there's no difference of opinion about it. But because somebody slashed her, other news agencies also reported on it as well and she was seen as oh, a, a, a Christian preacher. No, she's an Islamophobe. Yeah. Now here Uthman bin Farooq is not a Christian phobe or you know, anti-Semite or whatever you want to call it, he is a well-respected personality. I haven't seen a single one of these, you know, big Christian channels or personalities come out and condemn this and show support. Ex-Muslims who are constantly given it that zip when it comes to this. Why? <laughs> you should be just. But alhamdulillah, news has come out that the Sheikh has been released from hospital. He is safe, he is stable and alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, exactly one day ago at this exact spot I was attacked and people thought that I'm going to get scared. People told me rest, be afraid. I'm not afraid, I'm not resting. No guards, no, no security, nothing. Wearing the same clothes, doing the same thing. I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving me the opportunity to serve his deen and Allahumma razaqna shahada. We're not afraid of anybody. Secondly, for all my brothers and sisters in Islam, with all your messages and dua, I am appreciative. I'm not deserving, but I appreciate it. Thirdly, for the haters, we're not going to respond to your ignorance with ignorance. We're going to respond with wisdom. We want good for you. We want you to accept Islam, the oneness of Allah, Tawheed, and the way of the Prophet Be a member of this Ummah, accept Islam for your own salvation. One thing that you guys should know, I'm sure many of you do anyway, anyone that is defending the religion, yeah, a da'i, a preacher, in any capacity, they should be supported, they should be loved. Yeah, when, when I mean support, support in any way, mashallah, whether it's financially, whether it, it, it's in other aspects that you can assist, even if it's behind the scenes. Yeah, because you have to understand when somebody in this day and age of Islamophobia, when we are defending the religion, we're not going to get regular jobs, our content is going to be censored, our lives are on the line, family life gets strained, the possibility of marriage is made harder because you're in the public eye and there can be issues but alhamdulillah for the sake of Allah there's no regret. Alhamdulillah what we're going through is nothing compared to what the Prophet and the Sahaba went through and you know what this is a testament to the religion, this is a testament that the da'wah is reaching the right people and the right places. Alhamdulillah. You guys, if you haven't heard of the Sheikh and if you don't watch Speaker's Corner and you don't watch uh, our videos, you guys should. I talk about current affairs, some brothers, Speaker's Corner, some brothers, mashallah, academia, whatever aspect they're covering, support them and appreciate them and try to join them. Learn from their content, apply it. That's the best thing that you can do. Take the knowledge and apply it. So support the frontline workers. This is what we've been hearing during the pandemic, but this isn't a virus. This is a plague that the dais, that the preachers are tackling. Yeah, a plague, a cancer. So why shouldn't you support these 
frontline workers. Until next time, assalamu alaikum.